So you're back looking for more answers, I see. <laughs> I don't blame you. Analog horror leaves a lot of questions up for us to interpret. Viticarnus is no exception. There's a lot of things that I was left curious about, left wondering, left kind of scared of. But today we're back to hopefully get some answers. There's a few videos that I didn't see, apparently one in the original series called Singularity, which I didn't see a video on and it was in this full documentary that I missed. Hopefully it'll give us a bit more clues and context of what the crawl is and what it's doing. I had my theories, you all had yours, but let's get into this and see what we can learn. I thought the monoliths were going to be, Ever since, you know, the, the final monoliths stand silently. Now only a grand crawl, spectacle of awe and mystery. Only adding more questions to these meat beings. Meat beings. And finally, all just the last beings? creature on this list is. Yeah, there was that space. I guess I didn't note it. And that was the, the final picture in the Prince's story that we saw. Comprised of a dark what? colored mineral with hints of luminous colors within its core. The singularity is estimated to be one meter in diameter. That's pretty small. Seen that have been documented coming from the orb itself. Various things like I want to ponder the orb. Energy signatures and other pattern-like signals released by the singularity. Mm -hmm. The population of these creatures is unknown. You think Almost that's controlling everything? About the singularity is hidden or confiscated by officials. We were only able to receive one classified document about the singularity being held by... This is already way more disturbing and creepy. Do you think they're, that's what, like, the head of the crawl is? I thought it was the monolith. The majestic world that exists today. It's as extraordinary to have such strange and mysterious beings appear all around us. Mm -hmm. This is the beginning Thank you for joining us on this journey oh. of exploration and discovery you, of the lives of these living research. meat creatures. I love living meat. Thank you. For all the information more to come well there's a little bit more that we can watch my initial thoughts was that the singularity probably is either the origin or the head of the crawl maybe where it came from possibly have something to do with the connection of the prince and how the prince was found in the cave with magical powers and all that maybe the singularity is what the prince is a metaphor for and it is the magical source of the crawl's power. I don't know. This next video is cook at home kitchen. Cheese crawl penne cook along. What? Are we cooking with the... I thought humans weren't eating the crawl. This could be the greatest discovery of the age. Baby. Are we gonna learn how to cook? Don't let this feeling end. Have any what information is this? Of the whereabouts of oh, are we gonna find the cooking channel? And it what? Be making what was that? Hold on, who? Who was that? Somebody's missing? Of popularity. Today's dish will be a cheesy crawl penne. Ew! Is that the crawl? Cheesy crawl penne? Is that meat from the crawl? That's gross, dude. Off, oh, these man. These will be the ingredients you will need. Three cups of penne pasta. Roughly three cups worth of fresh crawl. Okay. Try to get a variety of sizes when you buy yours, or when <gasps> you harvest them yourself. I'm gonna be One sick. One cup of cheese. Ew. Half a cup of green onion. One teaspoon of salt. Crawl? Two tablespoons <sighs> of Cajun spice. Two I'm tablespoons of parsley. This is so weird. One tablespoon of dill. One tablespoon of garlic. At least we're seasoning a pinch it properly, of pepper. you know? And finally, the most crucial ingredient, Nutrier Company's newly released Flavor Enhancer. To bring out the richness of flavors within each and every wow, meal. Wow, Flavor Enhancer, maybe. First, get a medium-sized crawl and meat. Dude, listen, I'm someone who loves water. meat. Not crawl meat. Are you kidding me? Who's this? Why do you, are you wearing a hazmat suit? It, to, to handle the crawl? You're spilling so much, dude. Come on. I thought this was a professional program. Add a pitch of salt, which is That's used to help the pot come to a boil the faster and the help crawl. flavor the pasta. Then, yep. set aside to boil. 
totally normal cooking so far. Grab your crawl and a sharp okay, yeah, knife. Add the living meat. Begin to cut the meat into a rough mess. What the f Dude, this is so weird. It looks like a lobster. Uh, uh. Uh, oh, dude. Oh, it's so gross. Oh, I can't. I'm not. I'm no vegetarian. Listen, I li love meat. Not this. Oh, the meat juice. I'm not someone to really judge what people. Did you have to put in the, the squelching sound? The squishing sound? Ew. Oh, my gosh. Crawl is soft on the outside, but the interior <sighs> has a surprising dead. sturdiness. It's so gross. Ew, I don't like the sturdiness. I don't want it to get sturdy. Ah, oh, it's so then, gross and goopy. And set aside. I like goop as much as the next goop enjoyer, but... Eh. Oh, don't set it aside. Set it in the trash. Don't eat the crawl. It's... Uh, d Ew. It's if I go over to someone's house and they're serving a crawl segments. lasagna, I'm leaving. You're no longer my friend. Everything's rough about this dish. This is take this mince and set okay. aside as well. <laughs> Next, You're grab so your skillet and with preheat your with along some oil. Ew. Take your minced crawl and spread Ew. it evenly oh, oh. across the Maybe it looks better skillet. when it's cooked. Maybe it's better cooked. Stir occasionally until crisp and it's brown. Not any better. It's not looking any better. As your water reaches I'm, a boil, add I'm your penne and stir I, occasionally. I'm a picky eater. All right, I'm not. Why are you adding it like that? <laughs> How did you make adding Cook penne to a pot soft. look weird? At this time. Your oh. crawl will be brown and crisp. Add your mince green onion and then the spices. It's a little bit more normal, I guess. Maybe it doesn't Mix taste well. You know, I, I shouldn't judge it. You know, try everything once, right? Once Maybe your pasta is finished cooking, strain Maybe it. not the crawl. Lay your cooked penne even like into your dish. I feel like this person has in their basement. I don't know, it's just the gloves. Then add the crawl topping. I wonder what the crawl tastes like. Now I'm a little curious. I don't know. Maybe I tried a little bit, you know? When in Rome, you know? Sprinkle a generous amount of cheese along the still warm crawl for it to melt. It looks horrible. This looks At like a school point, lunch if I've ever seen one. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be honest. It, it looks not appetizing. Allow your dish to cool to a temperature below 60 degrees what? Celsius, or else the enhancer will the not music. work. Okay. Strict instructions. All and this now, thing is missing is some raisins, you know? I'm kidding. Okay. Who is enjoying this? It looks disgusting. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you find that appetizing, you should find a therapist. Hello? Okay. Okay. It's getting creepy. I'm sorry. What? Hello? What is that? Ah, more pictures. I knew it. Although the other critters ignored the rest of their fellow kind, instead, they secretly visited the slumbering visitor. Who was the slumbering visitor? The prince? They snuck in what little food they had and carefully fed it to the prince, gracefully hastening their recovery. So they are like helping the prince? Again, I think the prince might be the singularity and the monoliths might be these original creatures that helped them? I don't know. This next video is entitled Guide to Owning a Pet Trimming. What's wrong with you? First off, second off, what's wrong with you? Third off, get a normal pet. Fourth off, what's wrong with you? Are you kidding me? I, I know, you know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, but what beauty is this? Explain, explain yourself. Cause I know somebody 
would be making an Instagram account for this thing and posting it like it's the cutest thing in the world, and you're wrong. Many people get pets for companionship. Yep. They form I've bonds and myself. grow relationships with these animals to even to the point of them being considered a part of the family. Yep. Most Lua people part get of my dogs family. or cats, but maybe you Aww. want something yeah, more interesting. No, then no, I'm good with the dog. you get yourself nope. a trimming. Bruh. These lumps of meat have grown a reputation to lump be a loving companion meat. for many people in the recent months. What Although, love can that give, most huh? people it's may not know the proper ways to care for them. Today, we will be showing you how you can care for your pet trimming. Yeah, Taking care away. of a trimming no. is fairly easy, but this is uh, no reason to slack off. They are like living things without and skin. do require maintenance. The first thing to keep in mind when what, keeping like a trimming is the temperature of your home. While uh -huh. trimmings are resilient to both high and low conditions, you want to keep your base temperature near room temp, maybe slightly cooler. That being said, huh. trimmings prefer warmer areas to nest. A simple setup you may use is a box with some blankets on the inside. <laughs> Make sure there is enough box. for your trimming to cover itself. And now, Was you like have a, a comfy bed Ew. for your buddy. That is not my buddy. Next, that is not, that is you a want threat. to give your trimming no the best buddy. diet possible. What does it Trimmings eat? are not picky eaters, and will eat anything you give them. To keep Ew. your trimming healthy and strong, a diet of dry cat or dog food that is high in protein, provided two times a day, is oh, best. Yeah. As a treat, you That's may disgusting. give your trimming any scraps of your food. Angelica, like apple you named your trimming banana Angelica. peels or eggshells are a perfect snack. A thing to remember banana? is trimmings are nocturnal and make plenty of noise. Ew. You think that's a good pet? That sounds like a demonic baby. To prevent Ew. you from having sleepless nights, try to give your trimmings first meal in the late morning or afternoon. We we'll just don't get one. Hmm, maybe during these times instead. That seems like bad for it, honestly. Another if it's thing normally to consider nocturnal, if you want a pet trimming is where they awake. will be living. Ew. Your home should have uh, enough space for your trimming to roam around, as well as access to the to outdoors, like a backyard. If not, be sure to take your trimmings on regular walks. I'm this not walking gives your thing. trimming I... the exercise they need as well as allowing them to meet other trimmings. Trimmings are a social creature and need to interact with others oh, of their social. kind, okay. like how they do in the wild. When okay. it comes to entertainment, trimmings are not the most active and aren't the best at fetch or tug of war. Thing. But here are other Does ways to, to keep fetch. your trimming entertained. Some toys that trimmings like are little items they can push around, like a pull, or carry. Trimmings also enjoy things Ew. that you enjoy as well. Like watching the television or listening to the radio. Oh, they're they iPad love seeing kids. and listening to all the funny things coming from the devices. After a long day, your trimming might be dirty and need a wash. Ew. To clean them, start your bath with a gentle warm water mixed with a bit of hand or body wash. Gently scrub the trimming's feet, armpits, belly, and neck fold. I'm not touching that thing. Remember to be careful around their face Ew. and avoid getting soap in their eyes, nose, and mouth. Gently pat dry None with a towel cute. when done. Now your buddy is all clean. Don't boop it. No, 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 no. Stop pretending that it's cute. We all know it's not. You just want to be different, and I get that. It's cool. Being different is cool. And lastly, maybe get something said different. Before, yeah. Trimmings are social are creatures, so be sure to give them plenty of affection. They love receiving pats, scratches, and pets. They also love to sit with you and cuddle. Since they communicate oh. with each other in the wild, it is best to replicate this behavior with them as well. Simply talking to them oh. is plenty enough. You oh. can talk about your day. If anything oh, okay. interesting happened oh. at work, if you are working on any new recipes, or talk about the weather. Trimmings are very good listeners, and love to be involved. Oh, they? Oh, that's nice. 
How lovely. What a great pet. You know? With all of these <laughs> in mind, you are now yeah. well equipped to have a trimming become a part of the family. Do things Not my right, family. Nope. and you will have a companion for a long while. Oh, wow. That's uh, too long, you know? Okay, well, um, yeah, some people are just uh, deranged, I would say. Um... You know, to each their own, but you know, some people's own is not as good. Whoa, okay, there's something there. Oh, here we go. One day the prince woke and suddenly, thanks to the critters' uh, assistance, the healing process had finished very quickly. The prince had fully recovered and was now fully awakened and aware of the surroundings. Surprised by the sudden awakening, the critters Something about a sigil? Yeah, more and more I'm thinking that the singularity is the prince because, I mean, just look at the background of this. It looks like a very mysterious orb-like thing that I would like to ponder at 3 a.m. Except the singularity probably would kill me. But I want to touch it. There's, there's got to be at least, like, a, a, a group of people that are devoted to touching the singularity. I want to know what it feels like, you know? Because I feel like this whole prince and the critters story is just a big metaphor for the origin story of... The crawl. Like I said, I think the prince is the singularity, the critters that were helping him, probably the monoliths, and that's what they're protecting. Maybe the chamber where the prince was, or maybe where it's located. I don't know. But I think the critters being the monoliths makes sense because they're like eternally protecting their prince. This next video is meat snake specimen archived footage. I didn't want more footage of the meat snake. Honestly, I feel like the meat snake is probably the reason people are taking the crawl too lightly you know having them as pets because it's called the meat snake like what what is that i'm not supposed to take that seriously good old meat snake can't wait to learn more about the meat snake that was my favorite one of the crawl because it wasn't super deadly right to people unless it was feeding and you got in its way something like that oh hello uh, i mean who doesn't love the good old meat snake you know on a replication of the footage, yeah, just typical, typical warning about, you know, piracy and, you know, FBI, whatever. You, know, you don't got to take it too seriously. In the year of 1945, with the war finally ended, a long the time cleanup ago. process had started. During oh, routine sweep of an now. underground oh train tunnel, God. the cleanup crew made a Thing grotesque discovery. Found completely filling grotesque. the tunnel was a meaty wall, yeah. and in the center of the mass was an opening with meaty several wall. skulls surrounding it. Closer oh. inspection of the blockage revealed that the mass was actually an extremely engorged meat snake. Its impeccable size had blocked off the entirety of the tunnel's path. Oh my god. There was many strange things with this creature. Oh. First was the coloration. Like everything? A typical meat snake's color is bright reds and light browns. Mm -hmm. This particular meat snake was a very deep maroon. Another maroon. strange it's thing it about it was its behavior. So this creature Whoa. barely moved. Meat snakes are normally sluggish and encumbersome, but the specimen discovered seemed to lack even basic motor functions. Its behavior was that of a plant's. Stationary, with only minor movements within. One would assume it was dead. It ate so the much reason the meat move? snake may act this way may be because it was completely lodged in place and minimized Probably. movements to conserve energy. Oh. But how would it I have gotten it this ground. deep into the tunnel in the first place? And by the looks of weathering, it had been in there for quite some time. So hmm. how did it get so large? The answer was discovered by a war. different cleaning crew okay. who found the other end of the tunnel. They followed it until it met with the other end of the meat snake. Alongside it was a huge pile of car <laughs> <laughs> This meat that snake's skin also me. displayed great amounts of resilience. So it took several days of cutting to even obtain wow, a sample. Here, Ew. you can see the clear difference between this meat snake oh, wow. specimen versus a normal meat snake's membrane. Testing on the sample showed that it had great immunity to damage. It tolerated extreme freezing temperatures, extreme heat temperatures, and even high doses of radiation. Hmm. It is a wonder how such durability can occur in an organic creature. Another strange to phenomenon that, like, is the purposes. smell off the skin. Normally, it would have a sour smell of rotting flesh. But Ew. the specimen displayed a rather pleasant smell, 
like that of cooking Pleasant? scrambled eggs. Meat snake I'm never was later eggs discovered again. to be missing by unknown survivors. How the meat snake grew Hello? in size was discovered to be. A lot of classified stuff. Interesting. Is there going to be another photo? Ah, yep, there it is. One of the critters built up the courage to meet the now awakened stranger, the prince. It doesn't really look like a prince, it looks like a strange creature. Yeah. They crawled to the prince's side and extended their hand in friendship. The prince reached back and together they had formed the bond that would change their fate. This definitely is what started the crawl. This is, okay, this is 100% the origin story of the crawl now. But is the prince the monolith or are the critters the monolith now? Because the critters have other people of their kind. So did their bond with the prince force all of their kind to be absorbed into the crawl? Because I think that's what the crawl does. It eventually is just going to absorb all of life on the planet. That's, I think it's going to take over the entire world. I feel like we're getting a little bit closer with the story, but there's still so many unanswered questions. This next video is entitled Mimic Defense Instructional Tape. So hopefully we'll learn a bit of how to defend ourselves against the Mimic, because it seemed like all we could do was run or hide, and there was no way to kill the thing, because they are just extremely resilient, like much of the crawl is, especially the more they eat and consume, which is terrifying because the Mimic particularly eats humans. Which is scary because I am a human. I wonder if there is a way to kill a mimic because it seems like that, you know, you can only run and hide and how long could you keep that up for? If it's hunting a city, it's eventually going to get some people, you know, you can't always be out with, you know, a buddy. As of the time of this video's release, we have been facing 18, a concerning increase of missing persons and fatalities on a global scale. The reason for this mimics. is because we are under attack. We have discovered that there has been a significant Ooh. growth of mimic populations, which is threatening public safety. National yeah. leaders have released this instructional recording to teach you on how to defend yourself. Here is what you need to know about the threat. Mimics are humanoid, intelligent predators that are highly adaptive and feed solely on human prey. Mimics gain human. information on people by it's watching dangerous. their daily lives and pick to hunt people when they are most vulnerable. The most I'm common times a mimic time. will attack is when you are asleep, that walking alone, Ooh. or in a cornered position. Mimics are cautious and calculative creatures, taking precautions to ensure a successful hunt. They utilize oh, various tactics to capture a person by surprise. One of the oh. more well-known tactics is hiding itself inside of furniture, to blend into its environment. Common objects I don't that like mimics that. can hide inside oh, are no. circus, recliners, that. wardrobes, ottomans, and other places a mimic can comfortably wait. Mimics I'm getting rid are of all able my to furniture. contort their body in ways that allow them oh. to fit inside smaller places. They also use it to expand their body, making themselves appear oh. larger for intimidation. Another method I'm already mimics intimidated. use to blend in is their ability to put on and wear clothing. Mimics oh, that's put on weird. layers of shirts, pants, and jackets to hide their bright red skin and blend into densely populated areas. Dude, In they're very too small. cases, mimics can develop and grow to look very similar to human beings. Pairing this with clothing, it can be very hard to tell the difference between a mimic and a person Dude. right away. If you, you are unsure if a person is a mimic, look out for key features that may reveal their truth. Oh form. my god. Look if for abnormal facial features, characters. like large, bulbous eyes, flat noses, uh. wide mouths in an uncanny smile, and clammy skin. Also pay attention to other exposed body parts like hands. Uh. Mimic people will have long fingers with no fingernails. If you are unable to see their face or hands, watch their walking pattern. Mimic's legs are long and hunched. Oh. Their walking will be unusual and irregular. I, that's kind of like mine, honestly, though. I Here's walk pretty what you do irregular. If, you met with a mimic. if it stands Cry. before you, do not panic. Stand your ground and try to appear larger. Wave your hands and make plenty of noise. Maintain eye <sighs> contact. A mimic will hesitate to attack a potential threat. If you are yeah, with a weapon, I'm a threat. aim for the head <laughs> or legs. Oh, These we are can the fight best that. areas to hit to immobilize the threat. 
Fight back and don't let kill. it get a hold on you. If you find a mimic that hasn't discovered you yet, stay out of sight. Call the authorities and okay. alert them of your location. Stay where you are to avoid startling the mimic. If the mimic gives chase, run. Try to get run. somewhere out of sight and hide. Do not leave the area. Officials will need to locate you to help. Stay alone. That's so scary. It's hard for me. information you have learned, use it well and stay safe. Like so far, is it, it isn't even a, like a question if you could kill it. It's just immobilizing, running away, hiding. Is there any way to deal with these permanently? Please don't tell me there's going to be another break in. That was so terrifying. Hello? Imagine you're getting a snack at 3 a.m. You see a mimic outside your window. I'd move. But I mean, is anywhere really safe? Whoa, hello. Evidence tape? Oh, no. Christopher and Janice. Oh, dude. I assume they got got by a mimic. So, oh. What? Got it. Yep, it's working. Hey, can we get a move on? Uh, one sec. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hello. I thought you only had 30 minutes of tape on that. I know, but I just gotta see how it works. Why like, are you filming your wall? I never got to use one of these. <laughs> Too bad. You were the only person who could film with me, so you're gonna have to put up with it. Fine. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. There's no Don't wait too dark. Him. One sec. There we go. Oh. Hello. Just won't go out at night. <laughs> but I mean, at least they're together, so like, less yeah. likely to get attacked. Oh, there we go. We got, we got some light now. But look at that over there. You can't see anything really? unless I like point directly over there. Like, nope, can't see nothing. What's wrong with you? Why would you go out at night like this? Fine, hmm. I'll cook you stuff when we get home. Don't worry. I'm hungry. Too bad. Hungry for human flesh? Maybe she's a mimic, hmm? Can it mimic voice as well? That's terrifying. I honestly just don't go out at night. Like, even if you're together, like... What if it's an elder mimic, you know? They'd probably attack two people. Just going for a nice, nightly stroll. Well, there's mimics hunting in your area. That's a dumb idea. What is on the ground? Just dirt. Yes. Like, if you need to practice filming, just do it at home. It's kind of supposed to film at home. What? Right, what but... That? It still turns off and on randomly for some reason. Like, it's the best thing I could get my hands on, though. Turning on and off, Why? but it's the only thing that they would give me. It works, mm -hmm. so I just gotta watch. This is gnarly. It's not my fault this guy lives in a fucking dump. We're almost there, we just gotta get through go. the woods. No, don't go through the woods. Are you kidding me? What? How many bad decisions are you gonna make in one night? Hopefully I show up on camera. Uh, hopefully are they there are them? lights out there. Like, people still live there, right? Oh, Can't be that you. bad. Pretty dark for me. But you're just asking me to kill one guy. Me. Like I, I don't know why. Like why would they get rid of every? What? Dogs barking are never a good sign. No. None of this is a good sign. The sky looks nice. Go home. This thing can't capture it. Barely capture the ground in front of me. All signs that you shouldn't be outside. Like what? 
So, what are we doing out here exactly? Well, That's what I've been asking. supposedly they found some guy. Like it was like Ooh. it was like a grody scene. Like it was disgusting. Like they like they had to get rid of the trailer he was in, and then like they didn't let anyone nearby, and it was like this big conspiracy. So you know, I'm filming that. Probably mimic attack. Hopefully, I get a good mark for it. Hmm? So why are we investigating this? Right, we're getting close. Christopher is going to get them both killed. Like. This is going to be the worst idea I've ever heard of. Like, what conspiracy? We, we know it was probably the Mimic. What do you think it was the Bear Jack? You're like, no, oh, the Mimic's not going to get me. Couldn't happen. That's what everyone says. Until they get killed by Mimic. Hey, I don't want to trip on a rock, you know, that's our biggest threat. And of course, they've got the worst flashlight in the land. You know where we're going. Try to keep seeing like a face. Yeah, we're almost there. We're on the road. We're right next to it. Like, it's literally Why? up there. Okay. Why? Come on. It's not too late yet. I'm hungry. You said that already. Yeah. I'm still hungry. I don't need any excuse to not go into this the creepy okay. woods area, alright? Almost there. Hungry or not. It'll be it'll, it'll be like five minutes. Five minutes, okay? We're on the road. We're almost there. We just got past the tree line and make the way to the trailer park. Then we can go home. Okay? Okay. I don't want to be out here either. It's a weird place. Yes, you do. Why right are here. you out here? No one's right, forcing you to. I can't, you can't see a thing. What? And you're sending this person out first? Uh, just up here. There should be a path. This seems so scary. Right there. Yeah, right here. See, I found the path. We're all good. Where did the other person go? Hello? Did you guys get separated? How did, How did you get lost? This was so avoidable. All of this. So many bad decisions. So quickly. Can they climb trees? Gonna be like right in front of him. It's gonna be like right in front of him. Where's the other person? Did she get lost? Oh no no no. Okay. Oh, that was. I was a little worried, honestly. If anyone ends up dead, it's got to be the camera guy because. He's the one who wanted to go out here in the beginning. Saying, oh, I don't want to be out here either. Then why'd you go out, hmm? You're the one who's like, oh, we gotta keep going. I think this way. You think? Yo, look at this. I, I didn't see this on my way over here last time. What is it? It's cool. Like, we, we could get a shot of this in, like, atmosphere, you know? It, it just looks like... Oh, you making, like, a uh, a home movie or something? One sec, let me get a good lighting on that. Yeah, that's good. good there we go, yeah, look at that, that's cool. 
Hey, look, there's a bit of old stuff here as well. Anyways. So he's shooting like what, like a movie? About some dude who died apparently in a trailer park? Probably to a mimic? If it's in the tree, I'm done. Imagine you're walking at night and a mimic jumps on you from a tree. We're on the flat hey, part no... now. <laughs> I don't know why, I thought I saw a face. Yeah, we're close. Uh, the trailer should be right up ahead. Oh, uh, I'm too on edge. Too paranoid. I'm I'm too paranoid to do this. This is not for me. Because logically, if it was a mimic attack, wouldn't the mimic still be in the area? Where everyone was. There's no one here now, though. Not a single building in sight. I would leave Except too. Like way over there. But there's no one here. It's the strangest thing. So I went to investigate. I am very smart. This is the spot. Right here. Yeah. This thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, you take the camera and the light. Uh, point at me, but don't point at my eyes, please. Um, It's gonna be a like a bark bag. Thanks. Okay. All right, give me a second. We're tying up all the way. Teenage boy was coming home from the trailer late night. Although, when he arrived at home, he found a grizzly scene. Grizzly scene? Detail Barar. His father, that he came home to, was found dead. The grizzly oh, was he doing scene like a for him. Police were called. They came to investigate. Strange thing, though, they immediately closed off everything. Maybe here. not the best place to do well, the documentary. Only a few witnesses saw what truly happened there. For some reason, the police were acting very weird, trying to keep everyone away and telling little information. And when the information was released to the public, they say it was a suicide. Although, the trailer and most people living nearby moved away pretty much immediately. Did they purposely like mute this police audio because of what he was saying? I guess but they keep it still under wraps. Catch an eye what happened, saying the scene was much too grisly to be that. But police haven't come out about anything yet. So that's why I'm here to answer what truly happened. And that's it for now. You said grizzly way too much. What? You said grizzly way too much. Too much? Yeah. Okay, should I retry? Uh sure. Okay. Pause. That one turned out alright, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, why is it oh, rolling? We got the shot. Let's go home. Let's leave now. It. Oh, 30 minutes to film. Oh, yeah. the lens cap was on. Oh, I didn't I get it. someone to film. All right. So they're investigating a police report of a missing person. Probably okay. died to a mimic. And maybe the police didn't tell anyone because they didn't want to be afraid. But still, I mean, you should know if a mimic's in the area. You know, they should tell you. Because now we got people like this going out to look for. Cut it out! It's scary enough as is. Chris? Ooh, spooky woods. Chris? Chris? Where Chris? are you? Don't, don't mess with me like Chris. this, Chris. Come on! Did he get, get this isn't get funny. Up in the it got him that Chris. quickly. I just want to go home. Come on! Was he just talking? Fine. With us? I guess I'm going home without you. I'm cold, tired, and hungry. If you want to stay out Chris here and play dead. games, you can. Chris is dead. R.I.P. 
Huge F for Chris. Shouldn't have gone to shoot that documentary in the middle of the night. Probably the dumbest mistake you could make. And now you're alone, which makes you vulnerable, and the mimic will probably attack. So even if you're in a group, you're still in danger. Like if one, if you get separated at all. I don't know. Please tell me she gets out alive. Ugh. I always feel bad when people get dragged into doing these dangerous and stupid things. Like this person, she didn't want to go out here in the middle of the woods. She was just helping Chris, who is probably Chris? out dead. What are you doing? Because this isn't funny. That's not Chris. Oh. Did you not call that that wasn't Chris? You better run. Please don't tell me she trips. <laughs> okay, that scared me. Good, make noise, you know. You know, make it as hard for it to kill you as possible. They said make noise, make yourself seem like intimidating. Run, you're doing all the right things. Oh no, oh no. Did you just trip? No. Oh no. Oh no, no, you're good. Oh, you got home? Oh, thank goodness. Oh my god, I broke the window. Uh, maybe going out in the woods was a mistake, you know? Just a crazy idea. Ah, uh, they're both dead. That's that's so sad. I mean, Chris, you know, made the dumb idea to go out in the middle of the night into the woods. I think there was another image there. Ah, here we go. Is this the final page? The critters led their prince out of the cave into the top of the hill that the prince had laid buried under and showed them the forest. This is our home, full of wonder and beauty. Although the forest struggles to provide for all of us critters, and we are facing disaster, can you help us? And so the crawl was made, a source that could provide energy by consuming all life matter, and, and thus d d making the horrible monstrosities such as the Mimic. It seems like such a nice, lovely story of this heroic, magical prince saving these forest critters. Totally nothing about, you know, eating people, you know? All right, we actually have a few more videos left. Hopefully this will tell us a little bit more about this story because I feel like the prince's story is kind of unfolding and about to show us what really happened at the start back in like 1930 something when the crawl first appeared. So I'm interested to see if we can learn a bit more about that. But this one is titled Species Anomaly Report. Warning, this contains flashing lights, loud sounds and graphic content, just so much as all of these videos. Your discretion is definitely advised. What anomalies is going to be about? Hopefully the singularity. That's the one I have the most questions about. Hmm? Species log. 14. Oh, the harvester. Horrifying thing. I'm never going in the woods. Density shift discovered? Uh oh 1989 okay over a two-month period the population shifted that's bad uh oh august 1st are they expanding i feel like this is just like the crawl is doing a very slow takeover of the planet hello family totally nice normal family Goodbye, family. Did they get killed in the forest? Don't go in the forest, ever. Honestly, I like hiking. No longer can do it. 
Why would you ever go outside? Did they find a harvester while hiking? What the? Are those the, the tendrils that suck you underground? September. Wow. The population has gr dramatically grown. They're spreading. It's like less and less areas for us to be safe. What's that sound? Is somebody going through the forest? I think somebody got caught in a harvester. Yeah, definitely. Oh no. Is it their kid? Were they out in the woods and the kid got caught by a harvester? Oh my- and there's like- there's nothing you can do if somebody gets grabbed by them, right? Like, there's nothing you can do. Oh no, the population is just- it's like migrating. What? It's not that it's growing, but it's- Migrating. Why? I can't deal with the screams, dude. No, I can't deal with this. Oh my god, it Did their whole family get killed by the harvester? That's horrible. Oh my god. Oh no. I don't think I saw a page of that. Jeez, man. Oh no, I saw one. Oh man. I would just never go outside. That's so dangerous. Uh, is this the prince creating the singularity? It's a real, little hard to see. This is page 12. It's almost, almost impossible to land on. I'll, I'll leave the page screenshotted up here on the screen somewhere, hopefully in a little bit better way that you can read, but it looks like the prince created the singularity. The prince created the crawl, which I kind of originally thought. Well, this one hopefully is a little bit less horrifying. This is about the f flavor enhancer commercial. Warning contains flashing lights, loud sounds, and graphic. I thought this was just commercial for the flavor enhancer. What do you tell me this is going to be? I don't... Flavor. Like that. The flavor. most crucial component to enjoying a good meal. Yep. The way food tastes is what makes eating so pleasurable. Yeah, say that twice. But what if you could savor every little detail you could possibly want? I'm good. That is why I don't know. we at Nutrier Co. have made it so that you may enjoy every single bite you take. Why do I feel like this is made With from the product, crawl? The flavor enhancer, you can extract every last morsel of taste from your plate. With overwhelming demand for this essential product, even since our start earlier this year, we have delivered what you wanted. Now introducing the Flavor Enhancer Deluxe. Now Deluxe. packaged in a larger size and modified recipe, there is now even more savory goodness to go around. Since our debut in mid-1990, the Flavor Enhancer has shown to be a major hit, with our product flying off the shelves. It's got to be made from the crawl somehow. Will allow us to satisfy your growing, tasting needs. Now allowing growing, you to add needs. even more enhancer to your dinner, making Ew, your food even better to enjoy. You barely got it on the plate. The flavor enhancer deluxe available on shelves now.
Nutrier Co. Experience true savor. Hmm. I don't trust that. No, it's gotta it's gotta be made from the crawl somehow. Hello? These larger serving sizes make dining even more pleasant, now allowing more yeah. generous amounts of enhancer at a time. Flavor Great. enhancer deluxe. Now available in stores near you. Why does it sound so like experience truth save? I don't want to experience this. <laughs> make your taste buds pop with the new deluxe size. I don't want to make anything pop. Even more awesome. More awesome. I don't want to buy anything. No, thank you. I'm good with my current Spoil flavors. With this and part of every what is that? New trier. The screaming. Hello. I knew it was something weird. I knew it was something. Weird. It's just a piece of bread. It's just a piece of bread. All meals, no matter how small it seems, just a little more. It is crucial to everyday eating. Is it? Is it? How crucial? The voices. No, I don't need it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. What are they putting in this stuff, dude? No, thank you. No, thank you. I don't want it. It does seem like it tastes pretty good, though. Not gonna lie. Okay, there's another photo. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, wait, what? The prince gathered what he could and then set sail onward. Oh, great. They're going on a little adventure. You know, they're leaving their little cave. That's so nice. Once the prince returns home, they will come back to the island and return to the critters. Wait, is that the same triangle symbol as the Nurture Co. whatever made the flavor thing? Seems suspicious. Suspicious and odd. I'm saying there's at least a 90% chance that the uh, flavor enhancer is made out of crawl. But this final video is called Message. So I don't I don't know what the message is going to be. I don't know if I want to hear the message. 1990. This is amidst a lot of the disappearances, but still not close to present day. So I don't know how much of a threat it is in at this current time. Horizon, oh, hey, monolith. The group of monoliths stand vacant. Although Hi, closed off to outsiders, their stance can be observed well outside the perimeter. Hmm. What's within the perimeter? Message to it what? It is known to have hundreds of thousands of fibers that weave themselves deep underground. Oh. All connected so much in fiber. a grand mycelial network. Oh. Yeah, like fungus. I don't want the package. I don't have a goal. Do I have a goal? How do more people not know it? Yeah, all the people. Oh, there's the people from the video. Uh, why is nothing being done? That's what I've been saying. Hosts? 
where the original island was? Sounds too late. Huh. Hello? I knew there was something going on. I mean, it's very obvious the that, like, stuff is... ...are truly an astonishing Hello. sight to behold. This is a nature documentary about the monoliths. Huh. So is that, that location that was pinpointed, was that the original location of the prince that was hidden? Where did the prison pr pr prince go? I didn't see a page there. Did anyone... No page? Whoa, 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 what happened to the story? Okay, they ripped the page. Thanks for watching. So I know that there is going to be more videos to come. I'm pretty sure Darian's working on more stuff. So apparently, I missed one more video entitled Uncovered Documents. This was in the playlist, but is unlisted. Secret, secret, ooh. Hopefully this gives us some more information, but hopefully... Maybe something more about the prince, because I've... Spirit, what? Oh, this is the, the flavor enhancer. Are they testing it on a hints? That can't be good. New flavor enhancer. Rebranded product. I still think that this is connected to the prince. Maybe the prince has gone back into the mainland, you know, like the rest of the world from the island. And is tr trying to get everyone hooked on this flavor enhancer somehow to... Turn them into a food source. What? Nurture scandal. Nurture Co is facing charges after numerous reports of sickness after consumption of their product. The flavor enhancer. Well, who couldn't trust the flavor enhancer? It enhances your flavors and gets you addicted to the crawl so the crawl can consume you for its energy. Maybe. I don't know. The only statement made from the company so far is this, are dismissing any issue and that their product is safe to consume sure trust the people who make it yeah sure they're not working under the uh the guise of the, the prince or whoever that is i, I this has got to be connected to the singularity because of the symbol Hello, who is this <gasps> the military the was that a politician they're all connected to the the symbol from the prince these are all people wearing the, what is this the illuminati What is that? That strand of hair? Ah! What is that? A brain. Huh? What are these slides? That looks like green beans. It's probably, probably not. It's probably something from the crawl. Huh. Hmm? Carcass conflicts with... What? The private organization of containment and research consult... Whoa, what is this, like, SCP? That's kind of cool. Is this, like, an organization about containing the crawl? Association with society... C-A-B-C-A-S has uh, been experiencing backlash from government... Ooh, wait, hold on. Backlash? Government agencies about cooperation and violation. Hmm. Maybe this organization has something to do with the person th that we are, I guess, or was contacted at the end there? I don't know. Because they're talking about experiencing backlash. Something is wrong with the government. I think the crawl has infiltrated, and that's why everyone was wearing those symbols. Really dumb idea, if I'm being honest. If you're gonna infiltrate something, don't have like a secret organization pin. Like, even if it's not a secret organization, people are like, isn't that the pin of the the, the flavor enhancer people? Are you are you sponsored by them? What, what, what is this? Who, who are, why are you, why do you have that symbol? Like, it's pretty easy to put that together, all right? But it appears that the prince leaving the island, maybe the singularity, is controlling people that are high up in society and that's why nothing is being done about the crawl and these organizations that are looking into things looking into their loose ends or trying to contain the crawl 
are experiencing backlash and maybe whatever this flavor enhancer is is trying to i don't know poison the minds of people maybe that's what that brain scan was so that way they're not going to fight back against the crawl and slowly and slowly all of humanity will be consumed or used as a food source hopefully we find out more answers to our questions in the uh, next videos to come i'm wondering who the prince really is if it is the singularity what happens when it's going to return to the island what if the singularity is controlling the crawl to gather energy life kill people for you know food source and it's going to bring it all back to the island where the original critters were and that's why the harvesters were migrating closer to that location because it's all coming to a close i knew it was like a slow build up to like take over the world or something or like kill all life for the crawl to absorb it all but maybe it's just absorbing just enough to feed the critters on the island which i don't know what they're going to be shout out to darian this was really well made i really love this series one of my new favorite analog horror series there's a lot of lore a lot of story to this and just the creatures are so disturbing but more than that there's a story behind them and why they are of course all these videos will be linked down in the description if you want to watch them for yourself go support darian so we can get more horrifying <laughs> videos from this series by the way here's a few people that definitely wouldn't uh leave me in the woods alone to fight against a mimic our channel members thank you for supporting myself and this channel and not leaving me to die to a mimic thank you by the way thank you all for joining today's adventure and reacting to vita Carnis. as always hope you enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of course hope you have a great rest of your day remember with courage and determination any adventure is possible i hope to see you on our next one bye bye